How's everyone doing? I am Mobile Master Tech, and today we have a special one for you. This is T-Mobile's brand new 5G gateway. This is the fourth iteration of the gateway. We had the Nokia, AKA the Nokia trash can. We had the Sagecom unit, and we had the Arcadian unit. And now we have this new unit. Now what makes this new unit so special is its support. It supports everything. You get DOD, uh, you get C-band, you get st all the standalone channels. It supports everything. And one thing that sets it apart from the rest is this actually comes with a external uh, antenna support, which is the first for uh, T-Mobile. Actually, it's the first for any fixed wireless access device. So I'll be really excited to look at that. Um, I tried to get the device to the antenna. However, they told me they weren't selling it just yet. So I'll have to wait, be on the lookout for that. But in the meantime, any external antenna will work. So if you go to say uh, waveform and you get a four by four MIMO external antenna, it will hook up to this and it will work just fine. So it's nice to see T-Mobile um, finally supporting things like this for people that live in more rural areas or even people that live in um, more urban areas and just want to get a better, less interference from their neighbors and things like that living in apartment complexes. This is really, really nice to see. So uh, you can see right here, we have the T-Mobile logo and on the back, it tells you exactly uh, what's inside. So the unboxing will be kind of boring. So what's inside? We have the T-Mobile 5G uh, gateway. We have the T-Mobile uh, windowsill bracket, I guess that's new. And then we have a power adapter and a quick start guide. So that's all you really get in the box. What we're gonna do now is we are going to unbox it. Hold on, I'll be right back in a flash. Okay, and it's unboxing time. Let's bring it in. All right, in the box we get a the usual T-Mobile Quick Start Guide setup, gateway safety and regulation information and some terms and conditions, cancellations, all that good stuff. Let's set that to the side. And in the box, here we go. The unit looks like the bracket is already hooked up, I believe. Boom. Nice, very nice looking device. The prettiest one I've seen from from them anyway very sleek very nice and see the bottom these are the ports so let's show you the ports so you can see right here we have two LAN ports right there we have a USB-C port and we have a power adapter port we also have a SIM card uh, slot thing right here I don't really know how they get it open. Oh, you just untwist it and uh, you just pop it open and it comes out. And then you have the four antennas for a external antenna. That is really, really, really nice to see. It's also a warranty seal, it says right there. Um, so it's really nice. And Then you have the back where it shows the FCC things like that. I'm not going to show you that because there's some sensitive information, but you get the gist. This is the box. Now, what else do we get inside of the box? We get, hold on now, the power adapter. So, you know, pretty standard USB type C. And we get. This bracket. So this is a win. This is the window sill uh, bracket. I see there's a tape right here. So I assume for it right here, the tape, peel it off, sticks to the window sill, nice and firm. Um, yeah, and you don't have to worry about it. Let's see how that works out. 
I think it's right here to this port right here. Yeah, that's it. Very nice and firm. Very simple, very easy. So that's going to do it for the unboxing. It's very nice unit. Can't wait to test it out. You will be seeing videos, comparisons. I do still have the uh, T-Mobile, um, the Nokia trash can. So we will do some comparisons to that. And of course, one of my most watched videos to this day is the Verizon internet, uh, home internet gaming. So I said, why not? It's been a while. Got the new Call of Duty, of course. Um, and we're going to play it on the PlayStation 5. And I even got this bad boy. So we'll play it in style while we wait for Spider-Man. Beautiful controller, by the way. And uh, stay tuned for that one. It's going to be a crazy ride. So if you like what you see on the channel, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at Terrell352. Uh, actually, follow me on X, formerly known as Twitter, at Terrell352. Um, tell me what you think in the comments below about the new device. Do you like it? Is it sleek? Is it nice? Or do you not care about how it looks? And as long as it performs great, that's all you really care about. But until the next video, I'm out.